Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. From this video, we are going to solve scenario based interview questions that are being frequently asked. So let us discuss the first and the very important question that is being asked that is, you know, having a leading zero. Okay. Uh, so for that, what I've done is I've already created a simple file. So this is how I have my data. Like say, my ID is 10 or 101 and 10101 like that. So I want to have a fixed string length for each of my ID. So that is the intention. So like that, it can be a scenario in real time as well, where they want uh, their string length of that particular field to be fixed, like how our mobile numbers are of a fixed string length 10. So like that they want. So I'm taking my employee name and I'm taking the ID here. So if you observe here, it is very, you know, uh, unsymmetric. So some are three digit, some are five digit and some are four digit like that. So client insisted that he wanted a fixed string length and the length he wanted was seven. So let us try to build a logic for that. So I'm going to write it as a leading zero. Okay. So first we want to find out how many number of zeros we need to add right so based on the string length that is available okay so what is the length that we want we want to have a seven number here i mean seven string length seven so i'm writing a seven minus so what is the string length that we have okay right so here observe we have one zero i mean which means three zeros or uh, three uh digits we have we already have so according to the expectation so i have if i have to make it to a fixed string length of seven, then I need to add four zeros here. Similarly here, this is three plus two five, which means I have to add two zeros in the front. So like that each for each of this, I have to match or see what is the count that is existing and then add. So for that, I'm using this seven minus, I'm trying to find out length of my ID. It is giving error, maybe okay, because it is expecting string value. So I'm just writing a conversion function here to convert that string of ID and I'm closing it. Okay, apply and I'm just taking it here and we will see how it looks. So we need to convert it into dimension and discrete as well. Now you see three means three digits, it is already present. So four digits we more need so four zeros we need to add in front of this right so similarly here we have uh, five so five plus two is seven three plus four is seven four plus three is seven so it is summing up to seven okay which is our requirement now what i'm doing is i'm using a function called as left okay so the string that i'm giving is zero 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 so seven right so i'm giving seven zeros here four five six seven okay comma so after that i'm just moving this calculation to this so now with this what will happen so suppose seven minus so whatever the string length that we are getting here so in the first one four so which means left from this string give me four zeros here or two zeros here that is what it is getting so let us try to you know validate this i'm clicking on apply now you observe you got four now again four zeros plus this three will give us a standard string length of seven again five plus two seven four plus three is seven so it is matching now what we need to do simply add our id here Now you see it everything is of seven digit so like that we can make our now if i try to do length of my this thing everywhere it is it should be seven okay so which is matching according to the customer's requirement so this way we can add leading zeros or trailing zeros using the same concept here okay so that's it from my side in this video. I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, don't forget to comment so that it can reach a wider audience. Have a good day. Bye-bye.